Greetings, PUBG Mobile players! In the upcoming version 2.2 update, we will launch a new 1km by 1km map, Noosa. This is PUBG Mobile's most compact and combat intense map to date. Without further ado, let's head in for a look. Noosa is a tropical island with beautiful scenery and lush foliage. Within the compact 1km by 1km map, you'll find Flame Village, the Science Center, the Shipyard, Bulan Bay, Telepack Town, Regal Resort, Sunset Street, Pink Beach, Love Island, the Cavern, and Crystal Bay. These are the 11 main areas. The island is made up of undulating terrain. There are buildings scattered around, providing a unique combat experience for players. Flame Village is located at the center of Noosa. The terrain near the village is flat. Other than a few brick buildings, all it has are straw huts. Hills surround the village, so players have to think about how to hide themselves in the valley. On the hill to the south of Flame Village is the Science Center. The design of the modern satellite orbital roof feels really high-tech. The Science Center has three floors. Every floor is filled with supplies with locations for intense combat. The top floor has multiple platforms. Although players there get a bird's eye view of the area, they'll also be exposed as there's nowhere to hide. It comes with a risk. The shipyard is in the northern part of the map. The ship anchored there divides the shipyard into two. The containers in the area are packed close together, and there are elevated platforms throughout. Surrounding containers will provide cover during combat in this area. There are a bunch of buildings around the beach to the west. This area is called Bulan Bay. The area is divided into three parts. The buildings here are simple wooden huts. The surrounding hills end in two cliffs by the beach. Players can gain a bird's eye view of the entire terrain, observe enemy movement, as well as put pressure on those in buildings and on the beach. Telepack Town is on the east coast, and it's the largest area of the map. Not only are there lots of low-rise residential buildings here, but it's home to a high-rise apartment building as well. On the whole, it gives off a more metropolitan vibe. Players entering the high-rise apartment building will find an elevator. Through good use of this feature, players will be able to plan a nasty surprise for their enemies. Sunset Street and Regal Resort are located in the residential areas to the northeast and southwest of Noosa. Sunset Street is a long, narrow stretch of town. A road runs through it and office buildings, residences, and banana trees line both sides of the street. It makes for a good combat stronghold. Regal Resort's vibe is more residential. There are roads connecting different parts of the area together. Buildings are spread out over a wide area, which is why you'll need to use them as cover when moving around. At the southernmost tip of Noosa is Pink Beach. From here, you can see the pink sand of Love Island in the distance. Wooden beach chairs line the beach, and there is also a giant hot air balloon and a romantic Ferris wheel. If you love the sunshine and the beach, this is the place for you. But it's a vast open area with no cover, so players must be on the lookout for surprise attacks. More areas and interesting strategies await your discovery. Besides these diverse backdrops that support a variety of gameplay styles, the Noosa map will receive a lot of new game content. First, let's look at the Super Recall mechanic. This will activate when a player is eliminated within a certain period after the match begins, as long as they have remaining teammates in the match. Before the first blue zone starts shrinking, players that are eliminated can return to the battleground via helicopter with a random weapon. This greatly increases the gaming experience. In addition, we've added the NS-2000 shotgun and tactical crossbow to the arsenal. The NS-2000 is accurate to close or medium range. Hip firing uses 12-gauge shotgun shells, while slugs are used when aiming down sights. Players can switch their firing mode based on the target's distance, status, or their own personal habits. The tactical crossbow can be loaded with ordinary bolts or flame bolts, but the flame bolt can set some structures on fire and destroy them. It's both practical and fun. During combat, the tactical crossbow is rather silent when firing, making it a great stealth option. It's great for sneak attacks. 
When it comes to moving between areas, we added a new two-person vehicle, the Quad. Its lightweight and flexible design allows it to traverse the undulating landscape quickly and with ease. And it's great at driving up inclines. Players can use it to easily move to a different area. Additionally, at various designated spots on Noosa, you'll find many zip lines for moving between areas. Players can approach one to quickly zip line to another area. It's important to note that zip lines are fragile and are easily destroyed. You may not be able to safely zip line to your destination, but if you happen to be holding a tactical crossbow, you'll be able to fix the rope and repair the zip line to quickly escape from danger. Besides that, there are also supply crates, beach balls, a swimming pool for recovering energy, water jars for hiding in, as well as many other interactive gameplay elements on the map. Have fun playing around with them all! Gather your friends and explore this new map together!